flavored pop tarts taste more like fruit loops than fruit loops do is it weird that all i can smell is smoke uh yeah yeah, yeah very you should, weird you should probably uh you should probably check that out huh all right welcome everybody <laughs> back to the weekly gig this is episode 12 crazy bread crazy bread you never, yeah. you, know, you never would have, you never would have, you never would have, you never would have thought, you never would have thunk that we would have gotten to 12, but here we are, we're on 12. Remember we when almost, we said we'd have a guess? Listen, <laughs> I explained that already. <laughs> it's fine, it's it's okay, it's okay. Um, we're going to keep bringing it up until we get a guess. We almost sure. had it, we almost had it weekly, but... Things things got in the way, so this still not weekly. <laughs> the not so weekly gig. I'll get there one of these days. No, we won't. One of these days in the future, maybe in an alternate timeline. I mean, but it's kind of it's kind of funny that it, the weekly gig doesn't come out weekly. <laughs> so Part you know, I'm not it's really fun. I'm not really too mad about that. That's just how <laughs> it ended up. But it's like it's fine. It's funny. Who cares? It's whatever. It's a funny joke that we don't give you content weekly. Funny joke. Funny joke. Funny joke. Obi-Wan cannoli. Mm. Funny joke. So, what's crazy is that um, there's a lot of there's a lot of video games coming out in these next these upcoming months. And it kind of sucks because it's been pretty dry for a while. And then, of course, all at once, holiday season, yada, yada, yada. Um, wish it was more spread out because it's just... I mean, all of that coming out of my pockets at once, man, come on. So, holiday is the <laughs> time for games to be shipped out oh so. hell yeah october there's three games that i think i'm looking forward to and i'm gonna get you think yeah i think i'm i think i'm gonna get them all can i guess the first one um yeah i'm thinking you're gonna get new world what that's what you're <laughs> most excited about what i don't even know what that is is that, is that the amazon game yeah. Oh. Uh, fucking MMOs. That was not on my list. I might end up fucking getting it because I'm sure you and Donovan are going to get it. Unfortunately. Damn. That makes four games I'm buying in October. Well. What are the other games? So, another one's Back for Blood, but that's going to be on Game Pass, I think. Yes, it is going to be on Game Pass. So, I won't have to worry about that too much. Good thing I'll I don't just, have that. I'll just buy Game Pass. Because I don't know if it's worth a full purchase to me. Yet. Not yet. From what I played in the beta, I don't know if it's worth a full price game yet. It's fully functional. It's just something about it just is missing. Um. Also, the multiplayer versus campaigns are missing. <laughs> That's a huge I'm, chunk of it. I'm sure they'll add a, it's Yeah, because it was pretty disappointing, and I'm sure we'll make enough of a stink that they'll add it somehow. That's just, I don't know, the special infected or whatever, they just don't they just don't have as much character to them. They're all just pink. You never know, maybe they'll add no, more over time. And I understand they can't make them the same, but why are they all pink blobs of meat? The campaign was fun though. I will admit. It was fun. No, I I enjoyed what I played. It was it was it was some good old fashioned Left 4 Dead action. It's true. It was fun. We had some weird guy on our team when we were playing. <laughs> he oh, didn't, yeah. He didn't say a word until we all had to go like on the dock or something. And he just the whole time he didn't say a word and then he's just like Get on the docks. <laughs> You're like, this is our first time. I don't know what I'm doing. Or what we were was just it? Trying to have fun. It was. No, it, was it was that. I'm pretty sure it was that. Yeah, we were on a boat and we had to get somewhere 
and then we ended up not needing to even go over there yet. No. We had to get something well, else. You had to go over there, pick up like uh I didn't have explosives. to go over there. I was fucking lost on that ship. Well, someone had to go onto the docks and then like pick up explosives and then go back to the boat and then place the explosives. But he just chilled at the docks when he could have picked up the explosives and left. Yeah, and then there was another time where he was like by himself and he was getting wrecked and he was like Help me. <laughs> Nobody. He's a pretty good teammate. I mean, he was he was not bad at the game. That was, that was the only time that it was weird. And then he just didn't talk the whole time. But he had his mic on, so I don't know. It's funny. And then I think I... No, I didn't. I didn't type in the chat. That was another time. When, the first time I played versus mode with... Uh, Jacob, I typed in the chat. I was like, "This is my first time." And the guy talking, he's like, "Yeah, man, no big deal." <laughs> and I'm like, "This guy's sweet." <laughs> he had like a whole plan and everything. I think, I think we lost, but it's fine. You know, you love those kind of teammates. <laughs> yeah, he was also showing like his friend the ropes, and he was talking to his friend the whole time. So we just kind of piggybacked on like his plans and stuff. So yeah, there's back for blood, and then I'm. It's another, it's another 3D anime arena fighter, but the Demon Slayer game comes out in October, and I know what you're thinking. That's gay. It's it's exactly like Naruto Storm, and that's correct. <laughs> you see, there's a reason the Naruto Storm games are so popular. And I haven't played another one or a knockoff like it since four came out. I think it's I think it's a, a pretty good amount of time, and I think this one will be different enough. And honestly, it just looks amazing. So give me that Ninja Storm fix, you know. Visually, it looks really good, but I don't want another anime arena fighter. Yeah, yeah, Same. yeah. Same. Are you gonna? I'm get gonna it have Sam? to agree with Hunter on that. All players. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. That's you getting okay. it on PC or are you getting it on console? Uh, probably PC. Well, there you go. Just uh, you know, share your Steam with me. Then, then I can. Yeah. Try it. Get it on that PlayStation Five, bro. Oh, I wonder if it could be like that Steam share play whatever thing that they have. We could verse each other or whatever online. Last time I used that, it was super finicky. Well, that was also like when it first came out. Damn. I mean, here's the thing. I'm a console scrub through and through. But I'm not going to get the new Xbox. And I'm really only going to use my PS5 for games that are going to use that controller like to its full extent. So the PC is going to be the new Xbox. And I'll just have to get an HDMI cable or something. Just hook it up to my TV in my room. Whenever I just want to sit down comfortably and play a good old video game. Okay. You know, struggles of a first world country. Yeah, my computer's completely replaced my Xbox. My Xbox isn't even in my house anymore. It's at a friend's. Oh, yeah, I mean, my Xbox is literally the first one that they shipped out, so it's it's pretty it's pretty yeah, how weak it hasn't nowadays. Like shit, the bed yet is beyond me. Especially because it's got it has so much fucking dust in it. If I owned like, it, it would have fucking broke. Like um, Stop. with the way my entertainment center is, where it's placed, I can't have it like I have to have the fan just sticking out sideways, so it's just been eating dust. For mm-hmm. six years. <laughs> so that's cool. Hasn't caught on fire or overheated, so that's a good sign, I guess. There's a whole bunch of fucking space in it. It's got a big fucking fan though. That's one that is one thing that Xbox has is it's got some good cooling. Well <laughs> since the Xbox One at least. Have you seen the heat sinks on the Xbox One or on the Series X? Yeah, massive. 
massive gold plated heat sinks. Like, damn. You need those big old heat sinks, boy, for the next gen experience. <clears throat> well, Hell yeah. The systems are out, so it's current gen experience. Yeah. And then the Switch just has like the tiniest fan imaginable. <laughs> it's crazy. But like the whole back of the console is a heat sink, so. Yeah. Um, and then the last game is not Call of Duty Vanguard. Good. Thank God. Instead, I think I'm going to go for Battlefield. Fuck yeah, Battlefield As 2042 you looks so fucking good. It looks really cool, and I I really love the colors that they were showing off with that like red tornado thing. Like, yeah, dang. I've I wasn't I was never the biggest Battlefield guy, but well, first of all, the Call of Duty is, it just looks like it looks like Call of Duty, but Battlefield <laughs> looks like a whole Battlefield new experience, is, man. Battlefield is very. I was going to say grounded, but it's definitely not as grounded as Call of Duty. Especially but not this more, new one. Yeah. There's more leeway with it. You can do a lot more in it, which makes it more fun. Yeah. Their uh, trailers were always more exciting, too, I feel like, just in general. Um, But, yeah, to get a shooting game fix, I'll try out the new Battlefield. I played a little bit Probably. of four. It was okay. Yeah. I think it was free four was for a like, weekend or something. Four, in my opinion, was the last good one. The last great one was three. Dang. I haven't played three it. Three was so. amazing. Dude, three had the birds. Three did have the birds. <laughs> the birds? We gotta get the birds. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> what are the birds? <laughs> Djibouti dubs, bro. Djibouti dubs. Ah, oh. he dubs his fucking cartoons. Well, now. oh really? Well, they yeah, they, he doesn't do they did the fucking jump. Batman and yeah. Spider Man shows, right? So you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, the they made like a voiceover for the fucking trailer or something, like with the long trailer. Or no, not even the trailer, just the fucking game. Just They just played the game, like the first mission. And then the first two minutes of the game, a swarm of birds fucking, like, fly away. And, like, flies away from, like, I don't know. They they, they fly away. I don't, I don't remember. Like, <laughs> why do they fly? Because they got scared. But, like, I forget where and when, why. But they just wouldn't stop fucking talking about it after that. The birds for the next for the like the next three minutes the whole I, mission I that love they were stupid making shit like that the the, the whole keep next it back. three minutes was just fucking the birds like we gotta go get the birds the birds are the reason we're here oh, <laughs> making extra stories that, within it that's the best Ow. it's all for uh, the birds <laughs> it's all for the birds yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those. So my three games. Oh, wait, is this just for October? I mean, I made it just for October, but you can you can go farther. February, uh, dude. They announced a new Saints Row and f- for February. <laughs> yeah, and I heard it's not. It doesn't look that great. It doesn't look as cartoony. And I also heard. I only saw an image, so I couldn't tell you. No, I already. I'm not even gonna say this. I forget. I don't even. I'm gonna fuck it up. But I guess there's like a saying or something that they just like. They said it all the way through the games, and then they just switched it in this one. And also, none of the main characters are in this one. Oh uh, well, it is just called Saints Row, so it might be a soft reboot. I don't know. But I, I want so badly. The Elden Ring. That's actually yeah. fairly soon. Oh, January. well, yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. 100%. So I'm, bad. I'm going to ditch Donovan in New World when that shit comes out. Never play <laughs> fucking, that bullshit again. But are you going to get a fucking Elden Ring? Are you going to get it on PS5, though? 
No. I Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I want a PS5. I'm poor though. I'm poor, yes. And All I right. also can't get it any Go fund me and get Sam a PS5. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, Elden Ring fucking New World. I'm Well, because if you don't get it on PS5, game. who am I going to play it with? Is it on PS5? Probably. Yeah, he oh. should. He definitely should. Yeah, I might get a PS5. I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, bonus it, would, here soon. it would definitely, depending on how the co-op is, it would definitely be worth playing with you guys. So I might have to bite the bullet. Get on PC. PC. Mm. PC. What? PC. Get on PC. Yeah, whatever, losers. Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Uh, What else is there? Halo Infinite? Or did they not give us a date? Halo Infinite is December 8th. Uh, Does anyone care? Player. I fucking care. I love Halo. Yeah. Don't get in. Me, I'll school you in some Halo 3. Yeah. That's probably true. That it's an R.A. game. I never got into Halo, so I'm not one to talk about it. So I beat all the campaigns up through Reach. And then I just stopped. Didn't we beat Reach? Like, didn't you help me? Didn't we do, like, co-op or something? Or was I, that not a thing? I would imagine. I, th- I know I played all of three, and I really liked that campaign a lot. I tried to play four and didn't care. Yeah. And yeah. Then I just lost it completely. I didn't even know I didn't four. care. I got Halo 4 day one, and I thought it was very okay. Six, six. Yeah, yeah he also got was Halo, Halo 5, five a thing. <laughs> yeah, it was. Halo 5 was atrociously bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it was technically I didn't even know a thing. If- yeah, I didn't it even wasn't. know if it was real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always get That's confused cool. too. Like I played four. the multiplayer on it and it's not and I hated it so badly I barely remember it. Ugh. It just didn't feel like Halo. I they like remember. tried to make it more like COD almost. Am I right when I say that or no? Yep. I yeah, I barely remember though, so whatever. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I remember the Forge games on Reach being at their peak, though. True. Forge on Reach would, was really fun. Uh, Jacob and I would always make games on there, too. Or, like, we would play fucking stupid maps. There's a map that was, like, called Can Can You Escape Jigsaw's, Jigsaw's Trap? Like, stupid shit like that. Where you just have to, like, find your way out of this maze and if you take a wrong turn you like you blow up from a mine or something guys yeah, guys just... guys guys yeah. ODST what Dude, do we I think fucking about love it? ODST right, cool. I rented ODST and beat it with my friend in like a week <laughs> and never played it again but their helmets <laughs> yeah I have one of their helmets their helmets on the other hand are the I best love... I love just ODSTs in general. I prefer them over Spartans. Or what is it? Orbital Drop Super Trooper? Orbital Drop Shock Trooper. Shock Trooper. Yep. Can you explain to the audience what a Shock Trooper is? I mean, obviously I know, but um, just so that they can get a reminder. The actual like definition for it? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, what is a Shock Trooper? What do they do? Shock? Yeah, they go up to uh, uh, Covenant and shock them with tasers. Ah, sweet. So, like, the ODSTs, off my memory, before I actually look it up, uh, they are just, like, normal-ass people who will pretty much uh, go to, like, the front lines first, but drop in from, like, space. Oh, so they zoom. They zoom in. Yeah, they zoom. They zoom in before like the Spartans come in. They're like, "Hey guys, the bullets." Here. That seems kind of unfair. Yeah. The uh, the orbital drop shock troopers ODST are a special operations 
a capable organization of the UNSC Marine Corps uh, that specialized in orbital dropped shock infantry and special warfare tactics. The ODSTs are one of the primary special operations units in the United Nations Space Command and is under the supervision of Naval Special Warfare Command. ODST Primary HQ is located in Kenosha, Mars. Hmm. Very good. And then there's a bunch of lore. Nobody cares about started lore. in what looks to be 2163. Okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, you're not a true Halo fan if you don't read all of the novels. I do want to read the novels. I heard they're really good. <laughs> yeah, there's always, we always had that kid that had like the fucking, the Halo novels and the Tom Clancy novels and stuff. And I always was, oh, yeah. I always gave them the stink eye, but like, they're probably, they're ahead of the curve. Well, maybe not Tom Clancy, but. <laughs> no, I didn't care for any Tom Clancy books i started two books i can't even remember which ones they are i think one of them was rainbow uh but i just didn't like it rainbow six i think it's just called rainbow rainbow six siege game sucks rainbow six vegas rainbow six vegas 2 is the goat though sam's played siege for way too many hours i played it a lot when it came out but about it. ODST. I fucking love it. The smooth jazz in ODST is my favorite. I like how it's nighttime. Like oh, yeah, night time, night and rainy, and Newman Bossa. Fuck yeah, Newman That's Bossa. That's my aesthetic. That's the place. Oh, Sam, did you have any of those kids that uh had the? Oh, they were always reading the Halo novels and the the Tom Clancy novels in school? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. I had people that didn't listen in class. No, I had people who fucked, okay? Right, right in front of the teacher, too. Even fuck the teacher. That is that is also true, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> It didn't come out until a couple years after, though. It's true. What was his name, Mister? Just kidding. I know <laughs> we should. I mean, he's a Welcome. scum. It's fine. Um, we've had a, that young puss. We've had a couple teachers and substitute teachers fuck students. Couple. Uh, yeah. Is it Mister Bickle? <laughs> <laughs> no. Is he in jail? I'm more so just uh talking around like our area, not necessarily our school. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Bickle and his tiny pickle. Yeah, Mr. Hey. Mr. Bickle was sweet, okay. He was Didn't he freak out because of that. <laughs> Did someone say that to him and he freaked out. I don't yeah. know. We we all were thinking it. That's a shame. Okay. He was nice. I hope he's happy now. I thought I was cooler than him. <laughs> yeah. Were you like, when I'm an adult, I'm going to be so much cooler. Now look at you. No, when he was in the room, <laughs> I may be fucking stupid, but I am i don't look as stupid as he he does. He was, uh, he was a pretty nerdy looking guy. Yeah. He knew what he was doing. He was a gamer. He didn't he was, have to look like that. He was chasing his dreams. Maybe. He definitely wore Depends. <laughs> I just imagine him wearing Depends. I'm sorry. I don't know. Damn. Okay. Just adds to his look. I don't know. I remember. I don't know if this is true, but somebody was saying that they asked him to, to spell squirrel and he didn't know how to spell it and they just kept making fun of him for it. Like at recess. They didn't do it to his face, but they were like, he didn't know how to spell squirrel. I was like, what a, Dude, you're in what fourth an idiot. grade. You, you don't know how to spell squirrel. What do you mean? <laughs> Dude, kids Man. just suck. I was... Oh, I got so embarrassed this one time. Um, The teacher... We were, like, working on, like, pronouncing words or whatever. And the, te the teacher wrote island. And they were like, does anybody know how this word is pronounced? And I said... I raised my hand and I said, is land... <laughs> <laughs> 
They're like, no, you fucking idiot. His land. Yeah, they got up all up in your face. You fucking idiot. They're like, are you fucking stupid? dumbass? The S is silent for no reason. There's no other words like that. And you didn't know? Aw. <laughs> You're going to grow up to be summa cum laude? Aw. You don't know how to spell fucking is land. Anyways. Okay, you were a child. I was baby. I was pretty dumb sometimes as a kid. I was just completely dumb as a kid. I'm completely dumb now. You were so dumb, dude, that you accidentally went into my class and gave me a spelling test. Well, that was... You see, I don't know. It's weird, because in <laughs> sixth grade, I did like kind of bad at math. And then second grade, algebra, I did great. So Second seventh, grade? No, seventh. Seventh. Oh, seventh. Sixth grade, I was bad. Seventh grade, I guess my fucking brain turned on. I was like, oh. You told me that it was because your parents told you that, no, or else you, like, felt bad because you got an F. You got every single question wrong on a thing, and then you told yourself you're never going to do it again. That's exactly what you told me. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> but you did You did tell me it, like, uh, 13 years ago. That's pretty cool. Damn. You told me that, and I fucking, I like, I didn't do anything about it for myself. I'm an anime but protagonist. I, like, <laughs> I kind of looked up to you a little bit for that. Because then you like actually were smart, and I was like, oh, he actually, wow, he's doing it. Maybe that did happen then. Damn. It's weird how I remember that. Yeah, I remember that's, it that's one thing I don't remember. I do remember in that sixth grade math class. I don't know. I didn't. I don't think I did bad in that math class. I do re- now that you mention it, I do remember doing shit on a test. I do remember like I think totally you, failing. You one said of them. you've yeah. I totally you remember one. that. Now. You missed every single question, and then and then you like told yourself, "I'm never gonna do that again." <laughs> and I and when you said that, I was like, "Whoa, damn!" <laughs> and then you were like, "And you're like, and now I'm smart." I'm like, "All right, okay." Um, I remember. I don't know why I fucking did this, but. I like, we were taking a test in that math class and I was, for whatever reason, I had, I got an idea in my head and I went to turn around to tell the person behind me, like, it wasn't about the test, it was just some random fucking thing that I just like remembered and I wanted to tell them. And then, of course, the teacher caught it because like I immediately turned around and I was like, oh shit, we're in a test. And the teacher caught it, he called me up, checked over all my like... He checked over my test and then <laughs> I was like sitting up there. I was sweating bullets. I was getting upset. Face was getting red. He's like, you know, if all of these questions weren't right, I would have thought that you were cheating because <laughs> the person <laughs> that I was sitting, that was sitting behind me, like <laughs> wasn't the brightest failed it. So he kind of fucking cool. roasted him. So that's cool. I was like, Sometimes oh. teachers can be ruthless. Yeah. But I didn't get in trouble for cheating because I got. I didn't get in trouble for cheating because I got all the questions right. (laughs) Like so far, so it's like okay, okay, okay. That's pretty cool. Okay. All right, guys. How big your cocks? A solid three point five. Flaccid. Soft. Uh, flaccid. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Uh, three quarters of an inch. That's pretty solid. I will not disclose anything further. Okay. So okay. hard, I'm gonna assume Hunter has a nice nine incher. Only pushing time will ten. Tell. I will neither confirm nor deny. Pushing ten, but you know, he's only showed me it three different times. <laughs> I don't think I've seen any of your ding dongs. I, I well, you know. never seen mine because I'm self conscious. Yeah, I mean, because mine gets really small when I'm not. Of well, of course, when I don't, when I don't know it's there. <laughs> That's a perfect way of explaining that. When I don't know yeah. it's there. But sometimes when I wake up and I just had morning wood, I get up, the wood's going down, and then I'm like, it's not really hard anymore. But I'm just like looking at, it, I'm like, "That's pretty nice." You go in the mirror, but that's it, and like you get the right ankle, and you're like, "Dang." He's like, damn, if I wasn't fucking fat, 
this would be looking good on me right now. Oh man. I've seen Jacob's wiener too many times to count. I think I saw his too. His is actually pretty good. <laughs> I don't rem <laughs> I don't remember it in detail and also when I saw it we were both underage, so when I we were all underage, bro. And <laughs> and I fucking he like walked downstairs with his boxers like <laughs> underneath his balls. So like he just had his dick and balls out and he was like, "Hey guys, what's up?" <laughs> like his fucking stupid laugh. <laughs> and I was like yeah. just shell shocked that he fucking actually had it out. <laughs> it's crazy that it, it was so thin and yet it, it was dragging on the floor. Yeah, yeah, I picked it up for him. It's really <laughs> it's a real burden. But like I don't know why it was so thin. Jesus Christ. Anyways. I, lo I love that uh, video games and penises are common occurrences on this podcast. That's pretty cool. Yeah. As it should be. Yeah, you're right. I love podcasts. <sighs> now, time for this segment where I throw up and you guys listen. That's pretty good. You're listening, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I wish I could throw up. That'd be really <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. I actually just threw up. <laughs> you, you actually, you're just like, <laughs> it, like one of those quiet ones where you just hear the the liquid coming out and nothing else. <laughs> That's all you hear. It just pours <laughs> <Yeah>. out. <laughs> you can hear it like fucking going on my leg. <laughs> Ugh. Anyways, I hate throwing up. Yeah. I'm mostly straight, but these fucking trans people, they're starting to fool me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, men can be attractive, and you don't have to be attracted to them. Facts. Big facts. There's this one guy I know. On I know a very hair. hot he man very when I cute. see one. Yeah. Me too. All right. Maybe not Sam, but... Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Sam is smoking. Drop sexy. dead gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> I have the potential to be very attractive, but I like fast food <laughs> and not exercising. You try. They're trying. You got ring fit. Sam got ring fit, everybody. Oh. I got ring fit. I'm on world two. I'm on like the, I'm on the first. No, I'm on world three, actually. I didn't start it yet. I didn't even look at what the world looks like. I just did my stretches and got off. And it's been two days. <laughs> yeah. I'm do it tomorrow. I think I'm still on World 3. I played it yesterday. Um, For the fourth time, I, I split up World 3 into two. And I was fighting the boss, and I, f I fucking died. And I was like, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not fighting that again. I actually, I physically can't. So that's cool. That's going to be fucked. I don't have losing. that game. And then, oh, I give up then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can fight him again. Yeah, I just need to make sure to heal after every time he hits me, apparently. Damn. Heal. Sam, you get, like, these smoothies. <laughs> you get health smoothies. That's oh funny. God. It makes sense. Of course you do. Yeah. It's pretty funny. And um, you eventually get a blender to make them yourself. And you have to squeeze the ring to pour it, like, to squeeze the juice <laughs> into your smoothie. <laughs> it's so in-depth. So you have to work out to drink your smoothie. Yeah, oh, it's, nice. it's sweet. Also, make sure to buy new clothes when you can, because I didn't do that, and I didn't realize that they give you better stats. So, buy new clothes. God. Buy yeah, new I didn't clothes. Even... No, that was a thing. I flan to see flan. So you were fighting the boss in World 3? I think so. Crazy, whoa. Yeah. I gotta step up my game. Yep, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Speaking of video games. So over the weekend, I perused eBay. <laughs> a oh, good, boy. A good bit. You know, Hunter and I were just chilling. We were just talking. And I was like, fuck it. Let me see what's on eBay. Because I think I was ch I was checking. Who thinks that? I was checking the shipping on something that I got. And 
um, I was just perusing, and I was curious, so I looked up, like, Super Nintendo. I looked up a SNES. I was like, how much are people, like, selling these for? Like, how much would I expect to pay for one of these? Most of them were, like, 200 like, 180 It's like, yeah, sure. And then I was scrolling through, and I saw this one for bidding that started, like, two hours before I looked. Nobody else bid on it yet, and the starting bid was 58 So I was like... Ooh, fuck yeah. Sure, I'll 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 put in a bid on it. I'm going to immediately get outbid because every other listing on here like is for hundreds for like 100 more. So I'm instantly going to get outbid, but sure, I'll I'll put it in what the heck. Um and then I noticed that the shipping was it said expedited shipping only. So I messaged the seller. I was like is that like, can I get like regular shipping? Because I really don't want to pay $100 for expedited shipping. I don't need expedited shipping. And they're like, oh yeah, no problem. I can reimburse you the extra bit. And I was like, sure. Whatever. Um, And this listing for the SNES, first of all, the person has their feet in half the pics. <laughs> yeah, they oh. do. <laughs> That's not a good sign. And... Um, but that's okay. It's just, it's just kind of funny, but it comes with the SNES and like 50 games, 50 games, 50 games, bro. Comes with like, yeah, it has like Zelda, fucking Mario Link to the past. It also comes with the super game boy, some, some SNES portable system that they have the fucking mouse, uh, comes with all kinds of shit. And I was like, for 60 bucks? That's a steal. So, fast forward a day and a half. They messaged me at like one in the morning. Um, Like two days later or whatever. They were like, they messaged me back because I asked about the shipping. And they were like, just curious. Are you the one person that bid on this? If you wanted to, we could. I can cut you a deal. And... um we can get this going because I really want to sell this as soon as possible because I have to make, I'm moving and I have to make renovations and it's going to be expensive. I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, What were you thinking? And they were like, well, I paid 1,200 for the whole thing, but I can sell it to you for, um, wait, what was it? I can sell it to you for like, it was less. It was like 1,000, something like that. Something like that. Um, But, (laughs) <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's a little out of my budget. <laughs> it's listed for $60. <laughs> did you mention that? Like for bidding. Like, hey, yes. did you know that you... I did. I was like, <laughs> let me see what I said exactly. Because I was like, if you're expecting anywhere near that much, um, you should end the listing and relist it with a starting bid a lot closer to what you're expecting. Because you're gonna lose money, like one hundred percent, you're gonna lose money. Um, did you win it for sixty something? So here's the thing. It still has three days left, and I am still on, on, the only bidder on this <laughs> on this listing for oh. sixty dollars. <laughs> so when all is said and done, um, this whole thing will be over, so nobody can try to fucking steal it or whatever. But like. They still haven't relisted it. They still haven't canceled this one and relisted it for like a good price. And I can't back out. Like, I'm. I looked. You literally can't. I looked. I was like, I don't want to fucking. If I win this, I don't want to deal with the headache of what's gonna happen next because they have to give it to me. <laughs> like, they have to give it to me for sixty dollars. And it's a SNES with 50 games and like two other consoles. And like, I just don't want to deal with this. But they. Unfortunately, you're probably going to have to deal with it. It's still up. The listing's still up. I can't. Deal with with what? Waiting the three days? No, like, if if I get their shit for $60 and they expected $1,200. He's not going to send it. Like, it's there's going to be a problem. 
And eBay is going to be like, actually, you owe this kid your SNES for $60. <laughs> and he's probably going to start messaging you again. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, like hey, I do want to give this to you, but I, I didn't get what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. They wanted 800 for you... it. No. They were like, I mean, he hasn't said anything else. To I you? mean, 800 is not a terrible <sighs> price given what they paid for it. They definitely. I feel like they overpaid for everything that they have there, but why would he sell it if he <clears throat> paid that much for it? Uh, because they're moving and they need to make like re renovations on their house or something. They're selling a lot of stuff. They're also selling a Nintendo sixty four and other shit. I would never. He might as well have got a face tattoo, and now he's asking to get it removed, bro. <laughs> yeah, like um, he's not gonna get that. He might as well just keep it. <laughs> yeah, nobody's gonna He's buy that for eight hundred. He's losing so much money. <laughs> he, was, he he put the starting bid for sixty dollars. Like, sure. No, and if you it, win it, I guarantee you, he's gonna fucking message you, and he's gonna be like, "Listen, man," and then go on his fucking thing, and I'll be like, "Well, should have put sorry, the starting man. bid higher." Like, of course, it's bidding, so like you expect it to go up from what you started it on, but nobody else has bid on this. <laughs> $60 listing. And I don't know why. It's so cheap. It's so cheap. At first, I didn't even realize how much was included when I bid on it. I thought it was like just the SNES and then like a couple games. And then as I was scrolling through the the photos, there were like a lot of games and a lot of other shit in there. There's like speakers for some reason. So. I'm going to try and fucking look at this right now. I mean, I can send you the link. Don't bid on it. <laughs> you dick. I'm going to bet. I'm, I'll bid the $800 on it. You already have a SNES that you got for free. Yeah. Um, I should sell it, honestly, for fucking 900 I mean, I'll fucking... Not for 900 but I'll take it. No, I'm not gonna. Fu <laughs> well, then I might as well keep it. Not for nine hundred. I'll buy it off you. Sixty bucks. Two hundred. <laughs> um, and another reason why I'm kind of hoping that they cancel it is because I found a uh, a listing for Nintendo sixty four that I also am the only bidder on, and it's been three days. <laughs> Two days. It's you been have two a bidding. Days. You have a bidding problem. It was also very inexpensive and free shipping. So I was like, eh, what the heck? And I'm still the only bidder on there. So I kind of don't want to buy both of these. And I just, I don't know what to do. Like if there's, if it comes to like one day left, I'm going to have to message them again and be like, listen, I'm about to take your shit if you don't relist this. Like how much do you need the $60? How much do you need it? Because every penny counts. He can see what he's doing. He wanted like, fifteen I, times I, as much. Yeah, I really don't understand why he wouldn't fucking relist it. Like I was, my jaw dropped when he sent me that. I was like, "Huh? It's listed for sixty dollars. <laughs> what are you? What are you doing?" Ah. Uh... That's not cutting a deal. Did you send me it? I sent you the link oh, no. to the listing. I didn't... And it's like... It's like, yeah, 800... 800 is not cutting me a deal when my bid is for 60. <laughs> and I... 16 people are watching it. Yeah, and nobody's bid on it. At least not yet. It I might, think they're waiting. The last day it might... They're trying not to jack the up the day, price. you're gonna... Yeah. I mean, I hope. I hope so. Honestly. I really do. I think on the last day, you should put like 30 more dollars on it just to like, like the literal last second. <laughs> just in, I don't know. Maybe not. Just but I feel like other people is... are going to do that. No. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just weird. You should message him and tell him he has cute feet too. No. That's okay. okay. I think I'll pass on that one. I'll do it then. We're, I message him up. Yeah, and they'll Contact be like... seller, there we go. 
Oh, thank you. Would you like to buy my Nintendo 64? <laughs> sure, how much? Because I know 60 <laughs> isn't the actual thing you want. That one they're selling for 200 Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. And yeah. it's re- it's it's region locked or region it's modded, so then it's not region locked. So you can play any cartridges. Clutch. So like that's that's a little bit more understandable. It comes with a few games. Like that's that's a good price. But like I don't know why but that's listed that's listed higher than the SNES. And the SNES comes with fifty games and like so much other shit. It comes with a portable SNES player. Like, <laughs> it's just weird. yeah. That person is just, just maybe stupid. I just don't. I don't know. It's 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 just a weird situation. Also, their spelling is atrocious on their messages. But it's that's not a bit. It's that's not not here nor there. Um, <clears throat> it's not what's important. I just look at it. It says two bids. <laughs> hey, Sam. <laughs> Whoa. What have you done? <clears throat> yeah. I, I... Gotta get the ball rolling. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> just kidding. I don't have money. If I was rich, I would do it just as a fuck you. And I wouldn't care, but... I'm assuming eBay tells people when things that they're watching are ending soon, too. So it's yeah, not it's not like they're gonna forget it. All these twelve people that are watching are gonna forget about this. So there's a g- be like last day. Yeah, twelve hours left. There's a good chance it'll just hike up. But like fifteen it's, minutes. It's got me anxious, like for no reason. Like oh, three days. I'm the only bidder. There's still three days yeah, left. Dude, calm. Calm the fuck down. It's a SNES. Dog. It's a SNES, but it's gonna be annoying. They're n- they're not gonna want to sell me s- that whole thing for that much. You have a fucking PS5, but let's worry about a SNES. That's not the point. <laughs> eh. You just wish you had a SNES. I want to get a Pro Controller for my SNES. A Pro Controller. They do have, like, yeah. you can get the NES Advantage. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't work with a SNES, though. The NES Advantage is just this huge fucking square that you lay on the floor, and it has a joystick and two massive buttons. Jeez. Yeah, it's pretty cool. 8 bit bit do SN30 Pro Plus Bluetooth controller. What? For the SNES? Oh no, it's definitely not for the SNES. <laughs> I mean, it's for the Switch, PC, Mac, Android, Steam, Steam. Yeah. What the fuck, bro? What the heck? But uh, if I do fuck? get the SNES, the <laughs> the first image of the listing has a an NES cartridge of Pokemon Yellow, which doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> But that, but that doesn't exist. Not for the NES. It was only on Game Boy last I checked. <laughs> Yet they have it playing yeah, on the TV. The and it's an NES cartridge. So I'd definitely be checking that out. <laughs> See this bootleg <laughs> Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> no, dude. What if it's haunted? Even better. Creepy pasta. Sonic.exe. This is how well, this is how Ben Drown started. That's what it was. I was about to ask, what was the fucking Zelda one? Ben Drown. They don't have Zelda on the sixty four though. They just have it on the NES and SNES. Uh. <clears throat> Pikachu drowned. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu gay. Yeah, I just need to make sure to load their save that they already have on this game. Yeah, instead of the copyright, it literally says Lugia 2009 on the TV. Love it. (laughs) Yeah.
what do we talk about now? Um, I got a grinder for coffee beans, and I got some expensive coffee beans, and they were underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, it, they were very okay. The beans were not as good as the fucking what was the brand? The brand of coffee that I had that I'm gonna bring to your house, Sam, because it's just so good. Um, yeah, it's called. Javalia or Gavalia. I don't know. It's like a Swedish thing. But they had their house blend uh coffee grounds. So fucking good. It's so good. And I'm upset because they don't have the house blend in whole beans. <laughs> so I can't grind my own house blend beans. And I don't know why. It's like literally the only one that they don't have whole beans of upsetting but that's okay I bet yeah um <clears throat> whole ass bean I messaged them through their like contact us thing and it took them a day it took them two days to get back to me and they were just like thank you for your idea however we do not take advice like not <laughs> not it wasn't said like that but they were like we are not currently taking advice from consumers or something like that and it's like i just wanted to know if you had whole bean house blend that's all i asked and why i was like why don't you have it <laughs> but fucking advice it's whatever yeah i wasn't suggesting that you make it i just wanted it just well, i guess you, i guess you them could, advice i guess you could say that's a suggestion but Oh, never mind. It's not 50 games. It's uh, 75 games that they have. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot more. <laughs> it's... Yeah. So that's that's the whole eBay debacle. I'll uh, I'll update everybody on the next episode on what happens. <laughs> yeah, because definitely know the fallout of it by then. <laughs> fallout, boy. <laughs> Fallout 76 Sam really liked that game I did not What? What game? Fallout 76 You said it was your favorite in the series mm, I, I absolutely did not say that <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you even played it I did not <laughs> That's okay What's your favorite Fallout game, Sam? I heard Three. New Vegas is the best. Yeah, I heard that too. I I beat it, I think, one time, but I never like truly explored the game. So, I don't know. I feel like I rushed through it and then stopped playing it. Uh. But, uh, I uh, yeah, I hear that it is the best, but I love 3. I remember you New playing Vegas 3. Is... New Vegas is like I, everybody's favorite. It is an insanely good game, but I like three more. Whoa, we got some three boys. What about three do you like so much? Here's the thing. Definitely not the story. <laughs> Were you both going to say the same thing? Definitely not the main thing? story. I like the beginning of New Vegas more than the beginning of three. Okay. But for me, I enjoy a lot more of like the side quests for three more than New Vegas. That I agree with, yes. Yeah, when it comes And the main story was trash. When it comes to like RPGs like that, where you can literally just start the game and then do whatever the fuck you want, side quests are very important. And I just I definitely enjoyed a lot of the side quests more than the main story, but I, I still enjoyed the story main story that is yeah it was alright it just wasn't the best but whatever it, 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 the side quests make up for it for sure yeah when it comes to like the story of three, it is literally just generic <laughs> where's my dad and what about my son kind of stuff which repeated in four but... was it better world building or something yes. in three yeah. I like the whole world of uh, Washington, well, the world, the area of Washington, D.C., more than uh, New Vegas. But that's just me. I'm not hmm. saying that New Vegas is a shitty fucking setting. It's not. 
I, I like New Vegas. <laughs> I thought the setting in New Vegas was uh, is probably the same amount of good. You know? Yeah. When it comes to New Vegas, when it comes to like the actual world, I feel like New Vegas is more dead than three, but it's mo- not necessarily just like from like humans and monsters and radiated bitches, but there's just like more things empty. in the New Vegas is more empty, yeah, because it it's in a desert. You can only do so oh. much in a desert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, whereas three is in Washington D.C. There's all these destroyed buildings. There's a bunch of rubble, suburbs, so on and so forth. What uh, I haven't played either of them. <laughs> so, well, I played a little bit of three, but like, what kind of gameplay differences is there? Like, what makes people like Honestly, New Vegas so much? The only like big like, at least from what I'm trying to remember there's not like too much of a difference besides in new vegas you can actually aim down sights which i thought was an improvement Uh, that is pretty nice but it is literally on the same engine and has the same control scheme they play incredibly the same i think new (laughs) vegas has like a slightly different level up pattern like you, you can only add like ability scores every two levels i do believe instead of every level but it has been a while. Where did four go wrong? Four tried to do too much, and because of it, the stories it tried to tell weren't interesting. Okay. <laughs> four was good. I thought it was. Fun. I like. I fell asleep while Sam was playing four. Yeah. You were like over the mic. Yeah, you were like streaming it one day for everybody. <laughs> and I literally fell asleep. You just fucking fell asleep. I fell asleep <laughs> while you were playing for. And you woke up and I was like, Did you go to were you sleeping? And you're yes. like, Yeah, I fell asleep because it, th- it was raining and nice sounds and I just fell asleep. Mm-hmm. That's true. I did fall asleep. Uh, the best part of Fallout 4, to me, I'm sure everyone else thinks this, whoever else likes 4 a lot. Was starting like with a full you... set of power armor. Uh, no, yeah. that was stupid. <laughs> um, it was when you see the Institute for the first time. I like I like the build up to the Institute. Uh, what is that? It's an underground fucking haven. Is it like a thing that they're talking about and, like throughout the whole game No, they until like you get there they, or? they say it. They say like subtly. They talk about it subtly and you're just kind of like that, that sounds cool. That stuff's sweet. It, yeah, and it just sounded cool but you didn't at least at first later on you're kind of thinking like I think I'm going there right now. Like mm-hmm. I think I'm about to go I think eventually you learn that your fucking dad or, or son or somebody, yeah, your son is down there. So you're trying to find it. But in the beginning, you just keep hearing very subtle comments about it, rarely. And you're just like, what's that? That sounds cool. And I don't know. It's almost like a fucking conspiracy theory. Like, is the Institute <laughs> even real? Like, shit like that. But that then you cool. go, but then you find this elevator or something, takes you down to it, and it's the coolest fucking little cutscene ever because it just takes you to a place you didn't you didn't think you were gonna go to at all everything's like it looks futuristic it's It's all chrome not chrome it's like but it's all like white like bright white all the walls and the underneath it Uh, all looks futuristic clean yeah and then it turns out they're all psychos, but it doesn't, you know, whatever. I <laughs> I liked that whole part. Everything else I didn't care about. It was like, whatever. DLC cool. was all right. I didn't even play the DLC. I didn't care enough to get it. I remember with Fallout 3's DLC, Sam was showing me the alien ship. Ah, the mothership Zeta. <laughs> or at least you were on it when, cool. I was, when I came over. 
Yeah, it was all right. Killing aliens. I was like, oh. What about the pit? The pr- we can go down to Pittsburgh. Funny, that was a funny DLC, but pit, Pittsburgh. I I think I liked Pit the least. He I don't says know. it. Something I don't know something it, about the Pit DLC. So it's like a mine, right? Or a big smithing area. I do. I'm trying to remember exactly the story. It, it's something like that. All, and you, all like I know is that you go the, down to Pittsburgh. And a lot. It doesn't look like fucking Pittsburgh. Nothing. Nothing about that. They could have named it fucking something it like, like Peanutville or some shit. I don't know. Supposed to be like it's our like, Pittsburgh, or is it just a play on words? Yes, it is our our Pittsburgh. Okay, so like when you say Washington, is that like Washington, PA? Washington D.C. Oh, I guess that's close. Washington, PA. But, but there's also a Washington in PA. But I just remember that DLC being very red. <laughs> that, that whole DLC was just red. And Is that why you had that nightmare? The area was bland. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. No. <laughs> nightmare, 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 nightmare
Go on. But uh, I would walk down this trail in the woods uh, for maybe a couple minutes when, like, further down the trail when I can actually, like, see things, I would see two figures. Best way to describe it is kind of like the two, like, girls in The Shining. But uh, instead Link. of girls, they were tall, lanky dudes. <laughs> Rhett and Link. <laughs> they were Rhett and why Link. Did you, why did you say Rhett and Link before he said tall and lanky? Because I thought it would be funny. <laughs> It was definitely Rhett and Link. That's why I can't watch them now. Yeah. Fucking mood killer, bro. <laughs> I was so confused. All right, anyway. But it was always these two tall and lanky uh, dudes. I never, like, see their face or anything, but arms Did would they be ever, like, very... uh, growl? Give me the morning. <laughs> Not until the end. <laughs> that exact thing. Not yeah. that exact thing, but <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely like a growl. They said that. <laughs> they were like, <laughs> uh, no, but they would be tall, lanky, and their arms would basically reach down to like their kneecaps, and their fingers would also be like st- stupidly long as Ugh. well. And it always, of course, always scared the shit out of me, so I'd turn around and run. Uh, eventually. They would catch up to me and grab a hold of me and kneel, like put me down, lay me flat on my back, oh, just hold no. me down for maybe like ten minutes, just doing <laughs> nothing. Uh, just I holding you that. down. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's it, bro. And then after, even worse, like, they're just looking at you, like yeah. Well, here's <laughs> the thing, like I couldn't make out their faces, so to me, it was just like blank. But I, you, there's like one of the things like I know they're looking at me. Yeah, and you can't move. Yeah, and I'm like <laughs> strapped down, uh, and they're just staring at me for maybe like ten minutes. Uh, yeah, and after that, they like would start to like just get a little closer to me. And after like so much, maybe what would like the distance be? Maybe like two, three feet. Like away from my head, they would like lift their hands up and start digging at my stomach. With their big fingies. Oh, yes, with their big, fucking lanky, sharp uh, fingers. Big fingers. Yeah, and it would scare me because it it's a night terror, so I can pretty much. I think that would scare most. Feel it. <laughs> It's kind of scarier than my dream, to be honest. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but they would. Sam's is more experienced. Yeah, they would just claw at my stomach till I was just nothing. And then just after a while, I would wake up screaming. I would get scared God of Eyeless damn. Jack. Yeah. The, the <laughs> image, no, the image is like, I would get in my head. Eyeless I'd be Jack. like, what if I open my eyes and that happened to me? <laughs> Let me look up Eyeless Jack. It's a creepy pasta where this guy like opens his eyes and there's just a figure staring over his bed and somehow he managed to get a picture of oh, it. Oh shit! <laughs> uh oh. I remember this. <laughs> Bro. No, 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 no. Stupid dude. shit like that always got to me. Oh, these were when creepy pastas were the shit. <laughs> yeah. You showed me this. You showed me creepy pasta. I mean, yeah, I guess when we were much. really young. I mean, Jeff the Killer's. And then I got face. so interested in it, and then you were like, "No, no, stop! I don't want anything to do with it." But Th- you that was me. true. <laughs> that was true. Anytime you, anytime somebody like tried to pull it up when I wasn't expecting it, I was like, "I don't want to look at that. It'll freak me out." <laughs> Like, but dude, you got me into it. We gotta look at it all the time. <laughs> SCP stuff's cool too. We can talk about that another time. But all right, is that is that your disgusting dream, Hunter? Yeah. Thanks. Is that it, or yeah. do you have any other not uh, not as actually terrifying things that happen? Not as actually terrifying. When I was very young, I had a dream. Uh, I think I had it this like twice. I want to say it was reoccurring, but it's still, like, very vague. 
It, mm. The best way I can describe it is a uh, big bad man takes over the world and blows it up, and then I wake up. <laughs> I'm like, God, oh, yeah. no. We got to do some. Yeah, it was like that. It was like, uh, look at that man. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't had too many like nightmares recently. I, I do haven't remember. had a, like, an actual nightmare in a while. I do remember when I was like three, I had a recurring dream where, um, all I remember is an image of a guy in like the whole diving scuba, like old school scuba outfit, with the the fucking big round head thing. I forget what it's actually called, but. And it was just like he'd just show up. And that was like a recurring dream for like a month or something. I don't really remember. I was three. But it was before we moved. And we moved when I was when I turned four. So um then I had another bad dream that I still remember. I was probably like it's probably like eight or nine. I wanna say. And we we were at Jacob's house and we were watching like this this movie on VHS and then all of a sudden like a character some 3D animated character like looks at us <laughs> from the TV and then he like he it was, it was like some kind of lizard kind of esque blue fucking thing and his tongue went like really fast and it kept it hit me it like hit me with his tongue through the TV and it like went down my throat and stuff like really like it hit my throat really fast and I was like I couldn't breathe and I was like <laughs> and yeah so I woke up from that one I didn't like that um yummy it's yeah I don't really it's hard to remember I will say you probably blocked them out because of how much you hate shit like that <laughs> I mean maybe I will say maybe like a week ago within within the last week I remember I was sleeping and then I just hear in my ear, I heard somebody, I heard a man go, hey. And then my eyes shot wide oh. open. Oh. <laughs> and I okay. fucking, I looked okay. at my clock. And it was like four in the morning. I looked around my room. I was like, God damn it. And it was weird because it felt like I heard it through my like ear, through my actual ear. But. I know that I didn't hear it in real life. So I was like, so I just went back to sleep. <laughs> like, you should like, deal with it better. God damn. It took me like 15 minutes <laughs> to fall asleep, but I was like, that's weird. All right. <laughs> Throughout I was uh, pissed. Like my life, I've heard like, in like actual real life, I've heard like weird things around like my house and shit. Like, Unless weird. it was a ghost. It could have been a ghost. Maybe like, it was I've my heard... first ghost encounter. Well... We've had, I don't know, I, I when I was little, I might have hallucinated this, but I swear in our hallway I saw a little girl walking around. But I, That would be fucking horrifying. It, no, it, it was just like a shadow. It was just a shadow figure, but I could have just been hallucinating because it was dark been. and my eyes were just playing tricks on me. When I, when I was little, I had a fucking Spider-Man clock and I hallucinated that he turned his head toward me. It's amazing. <laughs> Okay. If that happened to me, I'd be like, Spider-Man! Yeah. You're alive? Dad? You break the glass? It would play the theme song. Hate. I'll hammer That's and break sweet. it. I'm jealous. It went Spider-Man. It was like a 3D... It was like on top of a building. And one of the like spires in the building was like the button that played the song. Fuck, I'm jealous. <clears throat> yeah, it was pretty sweet. I know I've had more like nightmares, but... Off off the top of my head, nothing's really coming to mind. I've had a couple I weird dreams where I've just been in like liminal spaces. And by liminal spaces, I don't mean like that fucking Twitter account. I mean like where the rooms are just like weirdly shaped and weirdly colored and like giant staircase of cubes that you just, I, I was that, jumping yeah. up to get somewhere. Like Cubert? Yeah. <laughs> you were Hubert. Floating cubes. <laughs> I mean, they were like. I had a fucking. I had a bad dream kind of last week, actually, where I beat the shit. I literally assaulted somebody. <laughs> and I don't know why. Self defense. And it was quick. It like 
it wasn't the point of the dream. So like it happened quick and it wasn't. Imp- like, That's imp- the worst. It was is when important, they fucking but it wasn't. derail out of nowhere, and then yeah, and then all of a sudden like, turn into a bad dream. But like the the bad dream wasn't that I beat him up. Like I didn't feel good from beating him up or anything. I just remember like oh I assaulted somebody and they're I don't know if they're dead or not, but the the entire rest of the dream was literally me hiding from the police and knowing <laughs> that I was going to jail for more than 20 years. Yeah, no matter what. If I got if I got caught. Like and they I kept seeing like police lights outside and I was like running through buildings and shit, like just hiding in rooms like it. and I woke up. I woke up from it and I was in my bed like was in my bed. I looked at Melanie and I was like just looking around. I walked downstairs <laughs> and laid on the couch to go to sleep. <laughs> And I thought to myself, this isn't going to end. And I just, and I ended up going to sleep probably like 20 minutes later. And it just started right back up again. Ah, same, the same fear. The those same are the best. Fear of, I can't believe it happened too. Like I was like saying I that, but I was kind after of that like long. doubting it too. That's kind of crazy. Like I was up for a good 30 minutes and I was just like, it was like three 30 for, it was over the weekend, I think, I think. not this week. I think within the last, last month, like, I did wake up scared from some kind of dream, but I don't remember what it was. It's just weird how they start up sometimes again, like the same thing, like the same fear, the same anything that you're doing, like you're just you're back in it. So it's like I wasn't done yet. Back like, at it my again. brain was like, no, not yet. I have more story to tell. <laughs> yeah, you need to get. To- don't you want to know if you get caught? <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> But yeah. Um, Hunter, do you have anything any else? Dream? Yeah. Like when it comes to dreams? Or... <laughs> yeah, I thought it sounded like you were going to say something else. Or... Uh, I was kind of going off the like hearing uh, things. Just like in oh, yeah, life. that's right. Like, uh, uh. there have been like countless times in my life, it, like in my house, where I definitely heard something or I thought I heard something. I haven't, like, seen anything, like a figure or anything, but I've definitely heard footsteps, whispering, uh, someone saying my name, uh, stuff like that, like, all being home alone. And, like, at this point, if I hear anything now, I just don't care. <laughs> Me too. Like, Same. Like, uh... I literally... I can blame it on the cats. Yeah. yeah. I literally do it every time. If I hear something a little too weird... I'm just like, eh, Milo did some shit. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to sleep. I I wish like, I had like now. a ghost Nothing encounter, scary. honestly. Yeah, me too. I've never had. It's... The only weird, borderline paranormal experience I had is what I'm about to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Time to go into Sam's, uh, Sam's so, dream. Everybody, nicknamed gather the around the campfire. Eddie, play this... some campfire campfire sounds. Like fire I, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is time to go to the red planet. Mars? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, it's a different. It's not on our solar system somewhere else. I don't know where, though. Couldn't figure it out. Woke up too fast. The red um, planet. So, this is a weird dream. I'm going to say of, like, a type of sleep paralysis that I was in. But the sleep paralysis was barely... Why I was scared, surprisingly. Um, so I don't know why this wasn't at night either. This was, I think, I like came home from school or something. This was like high school at some point, I think early high school. And I just took a nap like after school, like midday. I was really tired, so I don't know why I don't usually take naps, but I took a nap and, um, I thought I woke up, but I couldn't move. That's where the sleep paralysis is like. This is just this beginning part where I was like, okay, I can't move. I started panicking a little bit, and I could obviously couldn't move. The first time this ever happened to me, I was starting to fucking panic pretty bad. And then I, uh, and then I finally shot up. Like, I just shot up. I was looking around my room, but like, I, I didn't notice something was wrong for a second, like for a while. Like, I'm going to say like a good 10, 15 seconds. I was just looking around and um, I started to realize uh, what's 
going on. So I, I don't realize what actually was wrong until I wake up. So I'm not even going to say it, but I get up and I look back in my bed. No, nothing's there. Like, obviously I'm standing up and I walk downstairs and it's all like, it's very quiet everywhere. Like I don't hear anything. And I see my dad on the couch. Um, classic. He's Dale. eating. He's eating a bowl of salad. A yeah, a bowl of salad. Classic Dale. He's wa- He's looking at the TV, and I'm realizing now, not now, but like when I woke up, um, there was nothing on the TV. Like nothing was playing. He was staring at it, but he w- but he was eating a bowl of salad. But you didn't realize that it. nothing was on it. His so. legs. His his legs were crossed. Yeah, it didn't seem abnormal yet. Neither did the like the other main part, like the main reason that I should have noticed something was wrong. <laughs> but um, so I I I said, "Dad," like kind like kind of loud, and like I was kind I was probably like th- four or five feet in front of him, like a little bit to the side, like as if I wasn't like in the living room with him, but like getting close to it. I said his name. He didn't look at me at all. Didn't acknowledge perk up at all. So I was like, I, I, I said, dad, like a second time. And he didn't look at me. So I was like, all right. Like, I, I think I said, all right. I don't know. But I, I ended up just walking away. I went out to the kitchen and I, I was just like looking around. Like something was just off and I could in in when I was dreaming, I couldn't place what was wrong. But eventually, like just being in the kitchen, I feel like that's kind of where it ended. That's kind of where the dream ended. I don't remember. Well, you probably waking, realized like, I, I think <laughs> something was, up, I think the, and then... <laughs> I think I realized and that's the moment I woke up yeah. the moment I realized like, like I started like getting scared again. And I woke up and that's when I was like, okay, I can move now. Like I'm, I'm awake. It took me a sec. I was breathing really hard as if I just had a bad dream, but it was very calm. The dream I was in, but I woke up and I was like, very uncanny. I started like thinking about it a minute and I'm, and I, I realized like, holy shit, like everything was fucking like the entire dream was just tinted red. <laughs> like a deep a deep red and it just seemed normal I, uh, <laughs> normal hey dad it just hey seemed, red dad it, and uh yeah after it happened i was like i waited a second not too long like maybe a minute i started to get up and i uh, you know i just had i had headed downstairs and what do i see my dad in the exact position <laughs> that he was that he was in in my dream, legs crossed, exact position on the couch yeah. with a bowl of salad, watching the fucking news or something. And I think I like stared at him too long or something because he was like, "What?" <laughs> like, just like <laughs> that's. And I said, "I don't know." Groundhog day. And I just kind of, and then I walked to the kitchen, like again, in real life, you know, and. That's when I started thinking about it like a lot more. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Because like the dream felt so fucking real. I'll never. I think that's why I can remember it so well. Because I just I can't get over how real that particular dream felt. Yeah, especially because especially afterwards, because you relived it immediately. And the thing about like, oh, maybe you just, you know, maybe you just saw your dad. Like when you were going upstairs to go to sleep, nah, bitch, he wasn't fucking home. He gets home like twenty, thirty minutes after I get home. Yeah, like, I went upstairs. I fucking passed out. I remember. So like, I don't know. I don't know. I maybe just that familiar image, uh, like of seeing my dad normally, like on the couch eating fucking salad, like he does the fucking rabbit that he is, but. I don't know. That was just, it was just so weird how that all played out for me. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, that there's, I mean, there's a slight chance that you were sleepwalking, but 
But he would have said something. <laughs> yeah, no, he didn't. He didn't even look at me. Yeah. Plus the TV wasn't on. And You're in some bizarre other that... world. See, he was in the Silent Hill world. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why. It felt like I was just somewhere else. And I, and I, you know, being younger, I kept telling, I told Eddie about it. And then I was like, you know, oh, dude, what if I was fucking, what if? My spirit like went out, came out yeah, of my body. He was... <laughs> like I was, I was just walking around my house spirit in a journey. ghost form. Like that's how I imagined that, like that experience. Like, I mean, might as well. Was. It has to be. <laughs> he didn't like it. Really hear you, felt so. like, like that was. Yeah, easily the most bizarre dream. I like ever in had. a game, if you have like, oh, let me use my spirit form. Like everything looks different. Like everything and, uh, has a tint over it, so. Yeah, it was just a consistent tinted red. Like, and every movement I made felt real. It didn't feel like a, I don't know. There were, there, I could talk. It was lucid. I felt like I was controlling that dream, too. That's the other but you thing. didn't so know. I, at first, I, I couldn't, yeah, no, I couldn't, I couldn't tell that I was dreaming. I thought I was just awake. I thought I woke up from my nap and I, and I, was thinking about how, oh, I was, I fell asleep, like, after, after whatever I was, after what, whatever happened before this, like, school or whatever, like, oh, I just woke up, but, like, I was able Pretty to normal think, day. and I, I think the reason I was, like, I stood there for a second before I went downstairs in the dream is because I was, like, I was having a fucking, not, I was having sleep paralysis, so, like, woke up, like I was woke trying woke to, like, woke. calm down from that, so I was, thinking about it a lot as I was going through that. Like, I was, I was thinking. I, I I don't know. It was a strange ex- experience I had there. It's pretty yeah. cool. There's that. And the continuation of the red planet that I visited. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one's shorter, but it... I feel like this had to have been within the same year because I feel like they were kind of back-to-back almost. I know that the first yeah, one probably. I just explained, that was definitely the first time it ever happened. But the second time, I didn't have sleep paralysis or anything. It was just like a dream. But it was the same tent. And I was walking behind 7th Street School. I was just behind 7th Street School walking toward Eddie's house. Yeah. And it was just tinted red. Everything was red. The The... The, everything around me, it, was, it just felt Which is so weird because quiet. you never walk that way to my house. I think you did it one no, time. I, and, For, yeah, I, I don't know. We were going to walk the I dog. Was like, I was half, I was like halfway to Eddie's house behind 7th Street walking. And I remember it was hard to walk. It wasn't, it, there wasn't like anything going on like, it just felt empty. Like it felt like an empty dream. No, no one else was there. When I Quiet. got to Eddie's house, he wasn't there. There's was no birds chirping, nothing. It was just this red tint and me walking behind it. It all looked so fucking real. It was dark out too, right? It was, or was it? It was just, it could have been dark. It looked it like, it I don't right. know if I'm <laughs> saying the right word. But like the contrast was down, like almost, <laughs> and just red. Gotcha. I don't know. It was kind of taking over whatever time of day it was. Yeah, it didn't really matter. Red tint. Sat- red saturation. Yeah. So the red saturation mixed, and the fucking sky was black. I'm assuming, like black, but <laughs> uh, darker red. I don't know. I-, I just remember, like, it just nothing made sense, and I was walking directly to your house, and then I remember, as I was getting closer. It just felt like something was pulling me back, like a like gravity was pushing against me, or and um, it was like, or more like maybe wind, like the wind was just pushing against me, but like uh, not. Like it wasn't the actual. It wasn't actual wind. There, yeah, it but was there just, was a force. But this was yeah, like a force was pushing me back as I was getting closer to to your house, and at this point, I was like walking down those stairs in your backyard like getting closer and closer to your back door and i woke up the moment i put my hand in the middle of your glass door (laughs) yeah i just woke up 
And that was the last time I ever had a dream like that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what that last one meant, but it, it, it was a thing for some reason. It was a thing. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody for watching. Um, tune in next week when we rate our dick pics. Yeah, yeah. That's the end of this one. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's only kind of cool. No, this is a good episode. Yeah, this is cool. a good one. Um, oh! hope everybody. Stop. If anybody else had the red dream, maybe this is like a some kind of lucid world that everybody's connected to and you can only experience one at a time so if anybody else has experienced the red world let us know in the comments below maybe we can please someone maybe we can find a new discovery we can link up and defeat the uh the, the the enemy evil of the red world pyramid head <laughs> cube head cube head Redhead. Hero Brian. Hero Brian. <laughs> yeah, Hero Brian was behind me. I'm gonna be honest. The idea of Hero Brian scared me a little bit too. Like I knew he wasn't real, but like just the thought that there was some entity just out there somewhere, just mining and shit. You know, I get, I, I, I get in my head. That's. <laughs> That's the moral of the story with scary stuff in me. I just, I get in my head. But it's fun. Oh, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll catch you in the next Thank one. You. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Also, fuck Texas.